So a question that came up on my last post, which was um, what it's like to die, was they wanted me to drill in a little bit more specifically about a, one incident rather than kind of covering a bunch of them. So that's what this is about. So this is about a time when I was kayaking um, on a river at spring runoff and I almost drowned. And the river was running pretty high, um, two or three times its normal high because it was spring runoff. And I was going along and I got caught in a hole. A hole is like a, um, it's just like what it sounds like. It's something that you go into and you don't come out of. Um, but in this one, it was a pretty, the water poured over a rock and then it recirculates. Just like looking at the, a printing press, you know how the wheels spin sideways? Um, so the way the water spins, you're actually kind of in that and you can spin around like this. But anyway, first I got caught in the hole. I was up, I was in my boat, I was still upright and the water was exiting, but I couldn't get out. I was stuck. So. I tried all the different things you usually do to get out of the hole. It didn't work. So the next thing you do, you know, when I was on the surface, so the next step is to turn upside down and stick your paddle down into the water and hope that the water that's going through carries you out because the current that you want to catch is down in the hole. So I tried that. I took a few deep breaths and I turned upside down. And meanwhile, I was getting dragged closer and closer to these gnarly rocks that look like jaws that wanted to munch me. So I turned upside down and I stuck my paddle down and it didn't work. Um, I just kind of got washed around and I was fluttering there upside down. So the next thing um, I did was pop my skirt, which there's a skirt that goes around you and the boat and it seals you in the boat. That's why kayakers can do those Eskimo rolls where they pop back up and they didn't get any water in there in the boat. So what I did was pop the skirt so water would go in my boat, which had the hopeful intention of taking the boat deeper down so that it would wash through. But meanwhile, uh, my air is running out. I'm starting like, okay, the countdown's on. I've got only so much time before I have to reach the surface and, you know, or I die. So, the, unfortunately, that tactic of popping the skirt and flooding the boat with water didn't work, but I did I don't know, two, maybe two circulations underneath the surface of the water and you know the clock is still ticking, tick, 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 you only got so much time before you pass out from no, having no oxygen and um, it's like shit. <laughs> um, so I knew that I needed to, the next step, really the last step is to you leave the boat and you try to swim to the bottom and come out. So. I, I came out of the boat and so now the boat and I were floating around in the hole together and I remember looking out like, God, this is not cool because the, the boat had a sharp point on it and if it hit me down in there it could hurt. But anyway, the worst part was of course that my air is still going out. And I remember I recirculated two times and I'd reach my hand up out of the water trying to make it to the surface but I couldn't. Um, the hand would go up, but then it would go under because the current would pull me back under. And I did this three times. And I remember thinking, wow, you know, I might not get out of here. And there was a moment of peace in there where like, you know, I'm doing what I love. I'm kayaking. I'm on the river. I'm on a river that I really like, actually. And I, um, I kind of surrendered. I had this peace, this feeling of peace of like, well, this might be it. And, but there was this side of me that says, but no, we still need, you know, I, I actually it said we. Kind of like there's a couple voices going on in here. It's like, we still need to try to get out of here. So I knew that my last chance was to go all the way to the very bottom of the river and try to find the current coming out. So somewhere I found the energy and the willpower on the next circulation to go all the way down to the bottom, fighting my instincts to go to the surface. And I found a rock that I grabbed onto, it's sort of a flat. I had my eyes open, I just found kind of a big blob and I grabbed it and I pulled myself down as close to the river as I could so my belly was on it. And then I stuck my hands out, almost like wings, almost like a bird 
soaring and just kind of feeling for any air current except this was water current that was going through instead of up and lo and behold I found some and meanwhile it was starting to get pretty desperate I knew that it, it was going to be close and I started to rise ever so slowly and I started to hear the rapid recede a little bit behind me that was a good sound it was like okay we're getting away and we're going up which is all good and I started hitting some, the water started to get a little bit lighter because I was getting closer to the surface. And I finally reached a point where I th thought I couldn't, that I, I didn't have any more air. So I, th I swear I breathed water. It was like aerated water and it came into my lungs. But it, it wouldn't because if that happened I would have been choking. But it felt like it. I was right, kind of almost in a dream state. And then I broke the surface and I was aerated. So it, was, it wasn't just a real distinct like water surface air. It was more like more and more and more air bubbles and then it turned into, um, into air. But I took a deep <gasps> and I got enough energy to it's like, okay, must get to shore, must get to shore. And I kind of just had it found enough energy to move myself to shore and get on a rock, grab a rock and then just plaster myself on the side of the river long enough to get my air back. And it took me probably 20-30 minutes before I had enough energy. Somebody else was kayaking with me. They got my boat and my gear so all I had to do was recover. But it took me probably 20 minutes to have enough energy and um, you know get warm enough again to get back in my boat and continue on. But what I remember is this feeling of peace. There was that moment where I thought, wow, this might be it. And there was no panic. There was no fear. It was like, okay, this might be it. And um, it was a pretty, it surprised me. And yet still this part came through that wanted to survive. And it, it worked out that I did. But that was my experience, that was one of my first experiences, um, almost drowning kayaking. And probably the most peaceful one. It was actually a pretty, um, yeah, it, it was a remarkable experience. So that's it.